Welcome to this Python tutorial where we will build a simple CRUD web application using Flask and SQLite. CRUD means create, read, update, and delete. Let's begin by looking at the app.py file. First, we import the necessary modules. Flask is the framework we'll use to build the web application. SQLite 3 is imported to handle database interactions. We start by defining the database path, example.db, which will store the data. This database file is stored in the root folder of the project. Next, we write a function called initDB that sets up the database. This function connects to SQLite and creates a users table if it doesn't already exist. The table will have three columns, ID, name, and age. The ID will be the primary key for each record. After executing the SQL, we commit the changes and close the connection. This database setup ensures that the application has a persistent storage solution for managing user data. By establishing the users table and defining essential functions for data interaction, we create a foundation for seamless CRUD operations. Each function plays a crucial role in handling database queries efficiently, ensuring our app remains responsive and reliable. Now, we define the getUsers function. This function retrieves all records from the database by executing a select statement. The results are fetched using fetchAll and returned as a list of records. The select statement is a fundamental part of database interaction, allowing us to retrieve specific data from tables. In this case, it fetches all records from the users table, enabling us to display or manipulate the stored information. By using this query, we ensure our application can dynamically reflect updates in the database. To add a new record, we create the addUser function. This function accepts two parameters, name and age, and inserts them into the users table using an SQL insert statement. We use parameterized queries to prevent SQL injection. After adding the record, we commit the transaction and close the connection. Next, we create the update user function. This function allows us to update a record's name and age by executing an SQL update statement. It accepts three parameters, ID, name, and age. After updating the data, we commit the transaction and close the connection. We also need a way to delete records. For this, we define the delete user function. This function accepts an ID and deletes the corresponding record from the database using an SQL delete statement. After deleting the record, we commit the transaction and close the connection. By carefully managing deletions, we ensure the database remains clean and relevant, supporting the overall efficiency of the application. Now that we have the necessary functions for interacting with the database, let's define the Flask routes. The first route is the home route. This route fetches all records from the database by calling the getUsers function. We then render the index.html template, passing the list of records as context to display them on the page. Next, we define the add user route, which handles post requests. When the user submits the form on the home page, the name and age are sent to the server. We retrieve this data with request.form and pass it to the add user function to insert into the database. After that, we redirect the user back to the home page. Form submissions are a fundamental aspect of user interactions in web applications. They allow us to capture the input provided by users and process it effectively on the server side. By handling this data securely and systematically, we ensure that each user action is translated into meaningful changes, such as adding or updating entries in the database. To allow users to edit their details, we define the update user int ID route. 
This route handles both GET and POST requests. If the method is POST, it means the form has been submitted with updated information. We fetch the new name and age from the form, call the update user function, and redirect the user back to the home page. If the method is get, we fetch the user's current details using the ID and pre-fill the form for editing. This process is key for updating records efficiently and ensuring that the user interface reflects the current state of the data. When building applications that involve user interactions, it's important to provide a seamless experience where users can modify their information with ease. In our case, this update mechanism ensures that the user's details are always accurate and current. By fetching existing data from the database when a user intends to update their information, we make sure that they're not starting from scratch, but instead working with the most recent values already stored. Now, consider the back-end processing. When the form data is sent to the server, the server needs to ensure that the update request is properly authenticated and that it comes from the right source. This is typically done using session management and user authentication, ensuring that only authorized users can update specific records. Flask's support for request handling and form validation makes it simple to implement these checks, helping us maintain security throughout the application. Additionally, when dealing with databases, it's important to think about data integrity. When users update records, we don't just want the new data to overwrite the old, we want to ensure that the new information is valid and adheres to the required format. The delete user int ID route is used to delete a record. When this route is accessed, it calls the delete user function with the record's ID, deletes the record from the database, and then redirects back to the home page. To ensure the database is set up when the application starts, we call initDB at the bottom of the file. Finally, we run the Flask application using app.run which starts the server in debug mode. At this point, we were refining some of the SQL queries used throughout the application. Specifically, I reviewed the syntax for the SQL statements to ensure they match the database structure we created. It's important to pay close attention to SQL syntax, especially with operations like select, insert, update, and delete, as small errors can lead to unexpected results. Let's now take a look at the HTML templates. The index.html template contains a form for adding a new record. It also displays a list of all records, showing their name and age, along with buttons to edit or delete each record. In the update user.html template, we display a form pre-filled with the current details of the record. The form allows us to update the record's details and submit the changes. Now that the app is complete, let's run the code. When we start the Flask server, it will show the URL in the terminal. We can navigate to that URL in a browser to interact with the app. Let's add three records first. Once the records are added, we can edit one of them. We'll click the Edit button next to the record, update the form, and submit it. Finally, let's delete a record. We'll choose one of the entries and click the Delete button next to it. After the deletion, we'll see the updated list with the remaining records. That's it. You've just built a simple Flask CRUD application with SQLite. You've learned how to create, read, update, and delete records. This project serves as a great foundation for more complex applications. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Thanks for watching.